Hello everyone, I am Dr. A.B. Suhas Maslamani. I am a consultant robotic joint replacement surgeon at Sunshine Hospital. Today happens to be October 12th, which is celebrated as World Arthritis Day. And no better day than this for an arthroplasty surgeon like me to reach out to the community and spread awareness regarding uh, arthritis. Uh, it will be interesting for you to note that there are at least more than 200 different types of arthritis that can affect the human body. But the ones that are more important and more significantly prevalent in the community are osteoarthritis which is related to age uh, and that is something that we as orthopedic surgeons uh, see every day. And the second most common is called rheumatoid arthritis which is not age related. It can happen both in young uh, patients as well as in older patients and it has a totally different type of treatment. If you look at osteoarthritis of uh, the knee is the one that is most common and uh, a lot of patients come and ask me what is the etiology, what is the reason somebody develops arthritis. Number one reason is age related that means you as a person have used your body over a period of time and because of this there is some wear and tear in the body so the same wear and tear happens even in the joints and the joints that take the maximum brunt of uh, our activity are uh, both hip as well as knee and uh, the common habits that you see in Indian community that is sitting on the floor uh, squatting using the Indian toilet these are some of the reasons we see more osteoarthritis of the knee as compared to the hip and uh, there is a lot of apprehension among uh, uh, patients as to how this gets treated. So before we go into treatment, it is important for you to understand what exactly happens to the knee. So here I have a knee model which uh, will help us uh, clearly explain what is happening to the knee joint. So here he, we have a knee model which is in triplicate. First is a normal knee where you can see how in the knee looks when you are at a young age. The second model shows how a worn out knee looks like and the third model shows what is done for a knee which has advanced arthritis. So normally what happens is at the ends of the bone you have this white or blue structure which is called as cartilage and cartilage is little spongy and you have these small other structures which are called menisci and all of these put together act as a shock absorber for the knee so whenever you're walking jumping playing uh, you have that amount of frictionless movement because of this soft cartilage as well as the menisci but then what happens is over a period of time because of our level of activity because of age because of quality of bone because of the amount of weight we have all these can lead to wear and tear in the joint and you can see here is the cartilage starts breaking down and and these fissures starts appearing and over a period of time as the arthritis progresses the more and more cartilage gets worn out and when the patient starts walking uh, the bare bone rubs against uh, the bare bone on the tibial side and this is when you have excruciating pain when do you know that you have significant arthritis if you have pain which is requiring medication very often that's number one number two is when you have a situation where you're unable to walk more than a kilometer the third situation is where uh, you're unable to stand more than half an hour these are one of the three red flags where uh, you know that you need to see a, a doctor and then once you have a disease uh, there are two parts to the treatment one is non-operative where we try to treat you with medications as well as modifying your lifestyle as well as teaching you some exercises the other half of the treatment is when the joint is worn out completely none of these treatment modalities help the patient and in which case you have to go ahead and do something like a full knee replacement so what we do in a knee replacement knee replacement has become one of the most common surgeries that we perform we at sunshine do a huge number of these every year more than 4000 to be precise which is second highest in asia and it has become a very successful and a dependable surgery over a period of time this is where we replace the top part and the bottom part of the knee with a metal implant known as the femur prosthesis as well as the tibial prosthesis and you can see in the center you have this white structure which is nothing but uh, polyethylene which is uh, in common language plastic so that you have a new interface for the knee to move so this is how knee replacement is done and now with the advent of robotics uh, for the past one year we've seen that uh, 
uh, our patients are recovering faster the pain is much less they're able to move around and achieve their rehabilitation goals much more than before so we as orthopedic surgeons and orthoplasty surgeons find ourselves very fortunate that uh, we are in a part of medicine where we are able to give patients uh, new life in terms of how well they can move and how well they can uh, perform their activities. World Arthritis Day 2021 theme is uh, Don't Delay Connect Today. Both osteoarthritis as well as rheumatoid arthritis have very successful treatments so I urge you uh, if you are somebody who is suffering with these symptoms or if you know somebody who is suffering with these symptoms, it is important that you get in touch either with an orthopedic surgeon or with a rheumatologist so that we can help you because ultimately uh, your health is wealth for you because unless you are healthy you won't be able to perform to your fullest ability. So thank you so much for spending your time with us and uh, spread this awareness. Thank you.